me every day and be yeah. able to adapt to any situation out on the floor. I never really tried to gauge myself against the other players in the league. Um, so I guess I just tried to strive for perfection every time out there. That may not always be to the score or to just, just to make the right play. You know? yeah. That's what I try to pride myself on. And making the right play every time down, I definitely don't do it. <laughs> You know, I strive towards doing that every night. Well, how, how about when you look internally? Was there a point where you, in your career where you felt like, hey, I don't have any, like, weaknesses in my game? No, I wouldn't say that. A, I wouldn't say that. I'm still, still learning and growing. Yeah. And, um, but I do feel like what I bring to the table uh, is always a positive for my team. Um, you know, I, I think I do more things positive than negative out there on the floor. Uh, although I, I do make mistakes, so, you know, I would say 2013, 2014, when I really started to feel like I have established myself in the league and what I do provides a uh, positive for my team. That answers your question. Yeah, for sure. As far as your game, at this point in your career, you feel you feel you drill down most on in terms of your career. Uh, it's just the evolution of the game, you know, just playing against different schemes and strategies out there. And coaches are working nonstop to try to figure out a new way to play the game. I feel like I have to be on that same page. Uh, I got to sort of catch what's going on in the game of basketball, just like the coach would. I think that's what my development is, is mentally figuring out what I, how I can use my tools to impact the game. Uh, you know, we're from playing a slower pace when I first got to the league to now playing a fast pace three-point style. So I feel like I adjusted to that. Whatever happens next, I'll be ready for it. Kevin, you mentioned the style 